Welcome to Tuts Plus. I'm Jose Mata, and in this course, we'll build a poll application. We're going to include statistics and everything in this one. This is going to be a standard exercise. We're not going to explore anything in particular. Rather, we're going to put our ability to work. For that, we're going to use the world's most famous web framework. We'll be using Ruby on Rails. Rails proves to be an excellent framework to accomplish such task. Everything we need is available in the framework. We're going to be using very few extra libraries to accomplish what we need. I must warn you though that this is an advanced course. If you're not sure whether you should be viewing this course or not, then there's a couple of links that I've left in the show notes so that you can get started, such as a Ruby Fundamentals course first, then a standard Ruby on Rails introduction. After that, you should be able to view this course no problem. Let's review what we're going to do in this exercise. After this introduction, we're going to bootstrap our project and specify whatever dependencies we'll need to include in order to fulfill the project's requirements. After that, we're going to define the business model that will make up for the entire data system. We'll consider all of the entities that we'll need to handle in order to fulfill the requirements. One of them is, of course, the polls. So everything will revolve around these. We're going to allow ourselves to create polls. Then we're going to add some questions to them. And inside those questions, we'll allow different kinds of values. We're going to add multiple choices for those questions so that we can gather statistics on them. Finally, we'll allow the user to answer a specific poll. After building the entire backend for creating the polls and the questions, we're going to build some statistics. We'll use the Google Charts library to create different column charts and pie charts. These are the two examples specifically for this exercise that we'll implement. After knowing how to build this kind of data, you will learn how to build as many different charts as you like. We're going to fill the answers for these two questions. How many polls were taken over time? And what were the choices for a particular question? Finally, we'll review the entire exercise, analyze what we learned, and probably point out some improvements that we could have done in order to make the application richer. So I hope you're excited for this course. We haven't done a Rails application in a while, so this will be a refresher. I'll see you soon in the next lesson where we'll bootstrap our project.